Mathematical practice number four, modeling with mathematics. Now, most of us, when we think of modeling with mathematics, we think of things such as manipulatives, pattern blocks, hundreds type, that can help students really gain a concrete understanding of the math they're using. However, modeling with mathematics is far deeper than just using any sort of manipulative. It's creating ratio tables, it's using number systems to help create models and diagrams. It's learning how to apply to everyday situations, whether it's shopping or writing a check or gassing up your tank and determining if you have enough money to pay for it. It's building, it's construction, it's learning that math is used in our everyday lives and how with that math. It's making assumptions and approximations to simplify a situation. It's learning how to take a problem and make it simple, not to make it harder than it actually is. It's learning how to identify the information. It's deciding what is relevant to a question and what isn't relative to a question. Included in modeling with mathematics is analyzing relationships. Every number has a relationship. All of our story problems are based on relationships between numbers. It's learning that a number is more than a symbol on a piece of paper. It's learning how to evaluate in the, a model in the light of a given situation. So in a context for a problem, it's analyzing their model and evaluating it and determining if it's the correct model for that situation. All of these fall under the fourth mathematical practice, which is modeling with mathematics.